Hello everyone, this is Maher here. Today I'm going to show you a new lab and the lab will be about Ramon. So say that we have this scenario. This cloud is representing my computer. So my computer is connected to the first router, which is router one. Meaning from my computer, I can open Winbox and I can connect to the Mikrotik via the MAC address and also via the IP address if we have IP connectivity between the two devices. But then my network consists of more Mikrotik routers. We have router two and we have router three. From my computer, I'm not able to reach to the router two and to router three without any type of routing. But I don't have any routing now. I consider that those routers are just new. I just plug them now and I want to configure them. So the only solution that I had is that I have to bring my computer and connect it to router two and then connect it to router three, which is a lot of work. So what I'm going to do now is that from this computer, while it is connected to router one, I'm going to connect to router two and to the, the router three using the feature on MicTik, which is Ramon. So Ramon is a feature where we can have layer two connectivity from a Ramon server or Ramon relay. So I make the router one to be like Ramon relay, and from this router, I'm able to reach to router two and to router three without I move my computer physically to connect it directly to router two and to router three. So all you need to do just to enable ROM on router one, and then you enable it on router two, then I can from my computer here reach to router two, and then I enable it on router three, then from my computer, I can reach to router three. So let me show you how we can do that. Now I'm on my computer, and I can directly connect to router one because it's physically connected to it directly. So I need to now enable Ramon on router one. So let's do that. I'm going to go to one box and you can see this router one showing up here. I just connect to it. And all you need to do now is just to say tools and you have here Ramon and you just enable it. Now, if you want to change the ID, you can change it, meaning the name of the router, how it shows on Ramon. And if you want to put a secret, a password also, that's possible. But from my side, I just want to leave it as it is. So the ID now, it will take normally the MAC address, which is on the router, on the interface of the router. And that's it. So now I have router one has Ramon enabled. Now, if we try to make new now Winbox, we can still see that nothing is showing up as router two. So that is router one, those are in my house. So that's uh, some routers I have at home. So this is the router one still showing. Now, if I connect to router one and I say connect to ROM one from here, we can see we don't have any routers showing up here. So meaning that we need now to enable ROM one or router two. But how can I, if we go back to here, how can I reach to router two? So if I'm on here on my computer, how can I really reach to router two on Winbox? Now to, of course, to enable ROM one, but yeah, it's not possible because we don't have physical connectivity. So what I can do, I can go to router one and on router one, I can use the IP and we go to neighbors. So here it shows for me this is router two. So router two is a neighbor of router one on the interface internet two. So you need to just make Mac telnet to that router and you put the username and password of router two. So now I'm on router two. You can see I'm on router two. And from here, I enable Ramon on router two using the command line. So I have to say tools, Ramon set enable equal yes. So now router two has Ramon enabled. Now, if we go back to the Winbox, and I click on router one. This is router one, and I say connect to Ramon. Now we should be able to see router two showing up. Before it wasn't possible, now it's possible. And I can do connect, and here we go. We are inside router two. We can see that. If we go to the system, we go to identity. This is router two. So now, before we physically move the computer, we can still connect to router two using Ramon. But now what about router three? So router three, we can't still reach it. So what we need to do, we go to router two, and then we make MAC telnet to router three and we enable Ramon as we did in the previous point.
So let's do that. So I'm on router two. I go to IP. I go to neighbors, and we can see router three showing up here as a neighbor to router two. Now we can do MAC internet. Again, we put the username and the password, and we enable Ramon to Ramon set enable equal yes. So now router three has Ramon enabled. Now we go to one box. And again, I use router one as my Ramon relay and I say connect to Ramon. So this is router two showing up and here we go. Router three has shown up and then I connect to router three. So this is router three showing up also. We can see from the identity, this is router three. So this is router three. This is router two and this is router one. And you can see that everything now is controlled from my computer, even though we don't have physical connectivity router to router three, but using Ramon, I'm able to reach them and I have one box open and now I can configure them. So this is all what I wanted to show you in uh, this video. This is a very nice feature that uh, you can use it. And uh, remember that it's working on layer two. So you don't really require to have IP connectivity to have Ramon working. So if you like my way of teaching, please don't forget to put like on this video, subscribe to my channel and share the video so more people know about my work. And also if you can leave your comments, then I can reply to your questions. Now also, please don't forget to join my school, which is mynetworktraining.com, where I have a lot of online video courses you can have a subscription there to be able to study Mycotic and other vendors. And also, if you are interested, you can become a member on my YouTube channel, also to be able to watch the courses that I'm hosting on my YouTube channel. So thank you very much for the time you spent watching this video, and I'll see you in some other videos.